You focus on your breath, watch it coming in, going out so your mind can settle in and have one place to stay. It doesn't have to go jumping around. This way the mind gains rest and it also gains nourishment, the sense of well-being that you can develop while the mind is centered. It's nourishment for the mind. It's food for the mind. It gives us the strength we need in order to keep on doing more good things so that we live this life in a way that we can be proud of. We live this life in a way that we can feel that we've accomplished something, at the very least in developing good qualities in our mind. And to whatever extent we can help people outside, we're happy to help. But it needs strength because our greed, aversion, and delusion keep pulling us in all kinds of different directions away from what we know is right. So we need to have this sense of well-being as nourishment, as food. And that's much, much better than just simply resting or sleeping, because this way you're, when you're focused on the breath, you're developing mindfulness, you're developing alertness, you're developing good qualities in the mind, qualities that you can then apply to the other good things you want to do in life. Whereas if you're just sleeping, you're just dozing off for bed and you come back and there's nothing really that's been developed that much. You've had a chance to rest, but these qualities don't get developed. So this is where meditation is so much better than just resting. You're giving the mind good work to do. You're exercising its good qualities. So it's food and exercise for the mind. And this is how the mind gets strong, because the world has all kinds of things to attack you with. And sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations. There's loss of wealth, loss of status. Sometimes wealth and status can be an attack as well. These things come and you forget yourself, and you end up doing all kinds of unskillful things because you've gained wealth, status, praise. So you have to protect yourself both from the good side of the world and from the bad side. And this meditation gives you the strength you need. It goes together with all the other forms of making merit and being generous, observing the precepts. You know that you've given to the world, so you can enter into any society with your head held high. The same with the virtue. You know that you haven't lied, stolen, you haven't killed people, haven't killed animals. You can enter any society with their head held high. This gives you the strength to deal in all kinds of situations and the confidence that you can. So these three forms of making merit are, are food for the mind, nourishment for the mind, exercise for the mind, all the good things you need in order to keep the mind strong. 